Assalamualaikum and hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Zul Aziz. Thank you very much for stopping by and visit my channel. Dalam vlog kali ini, saya akan share pengalaman saya mengembara bersama Renault Capture. So, cerita dia macam ni. Masa PM announce yang kita dah boleh merentas negeri. Mulai 10 Jun 2020, perjalanan rentas negeri akan dibenarkan. We, the whole family kat rumah ni, we were like very excited lah sebab nak balik kampung. Tapi lepas duduk discuss dengan my wife pasal our plan untuk balik kampung, so we decided to defer our our trip to the next weekend sebab memang kita orang anticipate that weekend tu akan banyak kereta semua orang nak balik kampung. So I decided to rent a car. Tapi untuk rent a car for a week is is quite expensive. At least 800 to 1000 lah. I found out about Renault punya subscription program. So Renault Malaysia, they introduce a subscription program for Renault Capture, Renault Colliers and also Renault Megan. One year, three year, uh, two years and three years lah, up to three years. They also provide a trial program for 7 days and also a trial program for 1 month. I opted for 7 days. I bagi tahu Renault I nak ambil hari Kamis petang. So hari Jumaat tu habis uh, kerja, kita orang terus bergerak dalam pukul 2 setengah macam tu lah from Cyberjaya. So our first destination masa tu terus ke Besut Terengganu my hometown. So hari ini first time my wife jadi cameraman. Kami sekarang dalam perjalanan hari pertama berhentas negeri ke Besut Terengganu dalam perjalanan sekarang ni dah masuk ke arah highway cuaca hujan pukul 3.45 petang so far traffic Alhamdulillah rasanya traffic hari ni ok like, bila kat sini ok insyaAllah ok lah all the way saya akan berhenti dekat gambang untuk review kereta baru proceed dengan journey straight ke Besut lah enjoy the journey The traffic Alhamdulillah is very smooth Tak jam dekat karak apa semua I presume everyone dah balik dah week before So we were not part of the statistic Yang kereta tersangkut dekat dalam jam apa semua Alhamdulillah Kita orang berhenti sekali je kot dekat gambang Just to refuel the car Kami sekarang berhenti sebentar di gambang R&R Untuk refuel the car Pergi toilet break apa semua Tengah hari dah makan siap-siap kat rumah. Dah makan siap-siap, dah kenyang-kenyang apa semua. And then we bought some food lah dalam kereta tu. Sebab dalam COVID-19 punya apa zaman ni. So we try to avoid unnecessary exposure to the public lah. And I must say that Renault Capture ni, it's a small car. I think kalau tak silap dia segmen B punya SUV atau crossover. Dia lebih kepada crossover rasanya. And the boot space pun it's not that that besar. Cuma the advantage is you boleh move the rear seat tu boleh tolak ke depan sikit then you dapat more space on the boot uh, on the boot space lah and then the floor dekat boot tu you boleh tarik tanggalkan dan letak ke bawah so that you have more space untuk letak back tu semua which very helpful untuk dapatkan the more space the rest in terms of cabin apa semua i think it's okay lah it's not it's not that spacious but it's just nice something that they can improve is on the aircon vent on the driver's side because dia betul-betul dekat sebelah steering so basically the aircon vent tu dia macam kena my hand kalau tengah pegang steering tu dia akan kena dekat sini kat belakang tangan ni I don't know whether it's a design flaw ke apa but it's a fun car to drive it's a 1.2 turbo charge <laughs> Capture tu, dia ada infotainment dia which are full Android punya system and ada Waze apa semua I don't really use Waze I don't I don't install Waze on my phone I just guna Google Maps cuma bila dah ada Waze kat situ I try lah nak guna Waze masa dekat LPT tu so nak tahu ada speed trap ke tak so it really helps because dekat Waze tu uh, dia beritahu okay few hundred, few hundred meters tu 
ada polis dengan tu dan memang betul lah ada polis sebab the information is coming from the drivers juga kan orang yang lalu kat situ dia akan report dekat Waze so thank you very much to those yang bagi input or feedback to Waze lah it really helps to avoid the speed trap hari Sabtu, hari Sabtu kita nombor apa eh nama siapa? Hari mana abang? Kat hmm. tandas Buat apa kat tandas? Ibang mandi Ais mana ais? Ais tiga Nama siapa? Fatima Fatima? Fatima uh, sekolah kat mana? Luar Tadika lah Tadika? Tadika kat mana? Tadika rumah kita lah Kat mana rumah Fatima? Kat Kuji So hari Sabtu tu uh, My mom masak nasi tomato <tik> foto dengan hari tu sebelum makan menggambar ramai-ramai untuk gambar raya third day hari Ahad we went to my grandma's house dekat tak adalah jauh sangat dekat Bandar Jertih ni by Kampung Jawet dekat situ ada rumah my auntie dan rumah my cousin dan rumah my cousin ni pula dia ada buat bisnes bisnes ice cream segera ke Mua kita sekarang baru memasuki lebuh raya Pantai Timur ataupun LBT sekarang pukul 10.41 kalau ikut waste dia cakap lagi another 6 hours to reach Mua and then kita orang singgah makan dekat KFC Segamat lepas tu terus gerak sampai Mua dalam pukul 6 macam tu kot kalau tak silap kita orang tidur kat rumah my sister in law so hari selasa tu hari kelima kita orang tak ada buat apa sangat kita orang just chill je kat rumah my mother in law rehat-rehat apa semua my sister in law punya husband tu dia ada buat bisnes ayam goreng ha, nanti I put link ni tengok kat sini eh my Jenny nak dapatkan ayam goreng you can go to this link hari selasa tu beli ayam goreng hari rabu pun beli ayam goreng tengah hari hari ke hari rabu oh hari selasa malam kita orang pergi rumah my sister in law pula uh, dia buat makan-makan for dinner And then hari Rabu malam pergi rumah my another brother, brother in law sebab Rabu malam tu kita nak balik dah. So before kita balik pergi dinner kat rumah my brother in law buat a small birthday celebration for my daughter. She turns 13 on that day. We did a small celebration lah with our family apa semua. So lepas habis makan gedebang-gedebang gedebang-gedebang 9 malam lebih macam tu lah. Kita tolak dari Mua dan dalam pukul 11 11.30 macam tu sampai Cyber Jaya. That's the end of our 6 days journey from Selangor to Terengganu and to Johor so the total distance that we covered with Renault Capture is 1,676 kilometers and the total fuel that was consumed 135 liters hari Kamis Kamis tengah hari tu dan saya pulangkan kereta lah my car boleh ambil-ambil tengok road tax dah terkopet apa semua sebab I park dekat open area panas hujan panas hujan I think road tax pun tak tahan kot so I put a link here macam mana nak fix the road tax yang dah rosak tu you can watch it from here so that's the end of my journey with Renault Capture after 7 days covering 1,676 kilometers with 135 liters of petrol so overall my experience I think I really satisfied with Renault Capture I'm also really satisfied with Renault their program and the salesman is very helpful oh this is not a sponsored video eh? just to inform that this is not a sponsored video by Renault I wish Renault will sponsor me but belum lagi lah thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it hope you enjoy this vlog till next time 
Bye.